so I'm back with another video. So in this video, I want to go over the Apple credit card. So the Apple card. Now, a lot of people may ask me to do a video about the Apple card. I do not have the Apple card right now, but I have read about the Apple card. I watch a lot of videos about it. So I kind of want to sum it up for everybody that's on my channel. So again, it's Rakita. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Drop a comment below with your cash app because I'm going to do the cash app giveaway on the first of the month. So a few things I want to go over. So at first, you were not able to get the the Apple credit card without having an iPhone or like an iPad. Now that is not true. You can be able to apply for this credit card without even having any type of Apple. But it's good that if you have like the Apple phone or an Apple Apple iPad, so that you could do the Apple Pay because you're going to get more points by them. But we'll go into that deeper later on in the video. So you can go ahead and apply for this even if you have an Android. So if you thought, man, I couldn't get it because I got an app and I don't have the iPhone, then you can get it. Come on, you can get it. You can get it. You can get it. <laughs> so a few things I really, really like about this card is they don't have any annual fees. They don't have any foreign transaction fees. And if you've ever been out the country, know that they charge you, you know, the foreign transaction fees. But if you use your Apple, your Apple card, you don't have that fee or late fees too. They don't charge you any late payment fees. But let me tell you, when they say they don't charge you any late payment fees, they charge you extra. They charge you the interest on that, but they don't charge you extra fee. So it's not like additional fee. Like usually if you made on the card, like Capital One, they charge you $39 for just being late. They don't have that. And they said they don't have any fees, period. Now let's go ahead and scroll down. So this is the Apple card here. So they saying it's like, it's, you know, it's very simple. No annual fees, no late payments. Um, you're going to get 3% cash back on every every purchase you make. It's real cash. It's unlimited. And you get it every day. Now, the thing is, usually when you have like cash back rewards, you have to wait till your statement is up. Then they'll give you that money. You're going to get that money immediately, right away. You don't have to wait for that money or you don't have to wait for those points. So that is really good. You know, usually like with Capital One, you have to wait, you know, until your statement is up. They see how much you have and then they want to give you those you know your cash back will give you your points at that point you don't have to do that you want to get it right away so that is really good especially knowing that you're going to be able to say oh well i'm going to get three percent right now they're going to put it right in your account so you'll be able to choose to any amount that you wish to pay and then two your interest will be basically your interest will be calculated based on your credit score so they're going to look at your credit score and they're going to figure out exactly how much they're going to charge you for interest so Remember, they said that they don't have any fees, and then two, they're not going to have any late payments. So that's a big thing. Now, they're going to tell you how much you should be paying so that you don't have a high interest. So they tell you, hey, you should pay, uh, you know, this set amount this month so that you won't have high interest or you'll pay down your ca your card faster. Now, one thing I do like about this card, too, is that they're more catered towards helping you build your credit more they're not on the gimmicky side where they like oh well you know it's okay if you you carry a balance with us because it's not okay to carry a balance and they're letting you know hey if you pay down your balance this much then you know you'll be paying less they're, t they're educating you they're teaching you so that's really good so don't forget too when you use your when you use your you use apple pay to pay for different things you want to get the three percent right so save on everything you buy with apple and i select merchants merchants when you use the apple card with apple pay so definitely you know you'll be able to see the apple panera bread uber eats i love uber eats uh, t-mobile nike walgreens you'll be able to get that three percent back and then to every time that you use apple pay for anything you're going to get the two percent back and if you use your, your credit card for anything and it doesn't have the apple pay you want to get that one percent back so that's really good that they even have that option out there. So if you run to rack up points by having this credit card, because you'll be able to use the Apple Pay, that's perfect. Especially if you're going to Walgreens, Uber Eats, Panera Bread, or using like using it because you got a T-Mobile phone, right? That's awesome. Now, a few things I want you to know about getting approved for this credit card, and then I want to go over the application. So if you want to apply for this card, just go ahead and click on Apply Now. Now keep this in mind when you're applying for this card, I want you to I want you to understand that they have different things. So when you apply for this card, you want to make sure that you at least have a 600 credit score. You want to make sure that you do not have any past due bills or recently past due bills because they're not going to approve you. If you have any 
negative public records. Like, say if you had a bankruptcy in the last two years, I will not apply for this credit card because most likely they're not going to approve you. Another thing, too, you want to make sure your debt to income ratio is down. So down to at least below the 50 percent mark. So usually when you want to buy a house, they can get you at 53%, 43%. Now, when you want to apply for this car, say if you make $1,000 a month, you cannot be putting out more than $500 on your bills. So when you look on, your, when you look on Credit Karma, your bills cannot add up to more than $500 or they're not going to approve you. So half of whatever you bring in cannot be your bills. And then two, you got to make sure you don't have many too many inquiries and they don't want to see that you're shopping around with a lot of different credit card companies because that just means that you can further put further put yourself into debt or that you're desperate so what i want you to do is make sure that you're not shopping around for a lot of different credit cards so you don't get those inquiries but if it so happened that you already got those inquiries and you need help removing them go ahead and look down in the description i do have my inquiry removal where you'll be able to remove those inquiries in 12 hours or less so that's a good thing. And then don't forget to make sure your credit score is over that 600 mark. Make sure that you're a U.S. citizen. Make sure you're at least 18 years or older. So if you want to apply for this card, make sure that you just have all these different things up and make sure that you're paying attention to the number of inquiries that you have because you don't want to have too many. And I'll say too many is you shouldn't have more than five. Five is like a nice number. If you have more than five, you need to start removing those inquiries. Make sure you look at your bills to make sure that you're paying down those accounts so that your debt to income ratio is very low. If you have any further questions about this card, definitely let me know. I will go over this card with you, but I'm going to show you how you can get credit cards. Say if your credit score is low or you're like, okay, we get this card was nice. I'm going to show you how you can get credit cards without them looking at your credit scores or without them looking at your credit reports. And this is called the shopping cart trick. So it's going to come on right after this. And if you have any questions about this definitely let me know if you want me to try to do this trick for you to get your credit cards look down in the description and you'll be able to see the link where i can go ahead and try to do this trick for you again have a nice day and make sure you thumbs up subscribe and you leave a comment with your cash app do is if you want to try my trick i want you to opt in to factor trust so to opt in to factor trust you have to go ahead and click here so this is the website. I'll have it down in the description. I want you to opt in to Factor Trust. So when you opt in to Factor Trust, all you're doing is telling them, hey, I want to get credit card offers. And you have to apply. You, you have to actually give them your name, your address, your social security number, your date of birth. They're, kind of, they're a credit bureau. So they're similar to, you know, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Those are the three major ones. But go ahead and click submit. After you click submit, then you want to go ahead and enter that information that I told you that you'll have to submit. Go ahead and submit that information and click confirm. Now, when you submit this, remember, you're telling them I want offers. So be prepared to get a lot of offers in the mail. But that's good because remember, you're trying to build your credit score up. And for you to build your credit score, you need at least four credit cards. Now, let me show you what you can do after you actually opt in. After you opt in, then you have a chance of getting approved for credit cards without them actually checking your credit score. So let's go ahead and go to victoriasecrets.com because that's an easy website where you can just test and see if you can do opt in you don't have to get the credit cards but you can see if you get the pop-up saying you're pre-approved without them checking your credit scores and without them actually giving you that hard inquiry so let's go to victoriasecrets.com so after we go to victoriasecrets.com i want you to put 200 to 250 dollars worth of items in your cart i already have items in my cart because i did not clear my cookies so if you try this trick and it's not working for you i want you to clear your cookies I want you to clear your cookies and I want you to go into incognito mode. And if you want me to go through that, let me just run through it really quickly. You don't have to ask. I'll just do it. Let's go ahead and click the three dots here at the top. So it's three dots at the top and go to settings. After you go to settings, I want you to put pop into the box. And I'm going to kind of go fast because I don't want to, if you already know this, I don't want to, you know, pull you through it. But I want you to go ahead and click here where you see it's highlighted with the pop. Go ahead and click there, scroll to the bottom, and you want to make sure that you click pop here, and then you allow pop-ups. You make sure that it says allowed. So make sure it says allowed on your computer. Go ahead and click enter again on pop. Let's go ahead and just put pop in again. I want you to go to clear browsing data. That's your cookies. That's when they track you. They know where you've been. So, so far, they said I've been to 169 sites. I downloaded 10 items like they know too much right <laughs> so I want you to clear your data so after you clear your data they're not going to have this information anymore 
So I want you to go to the Victoria's Secrets website, but I want you to do it in, in, in an incognito mode. I'm able to do it without incognito, but I want you to see what it looks like to do it in incognito. And this is actually called the shopping cart trick, what we're going to be doing. So I want you to put Victoria's Secrets here, click submit, click enter, and I want you to put that 200 to $250 worth of items in your cart. So I like to just go ahead and hover over sleep and go to Cami Sets. But again, it can be any 200 to $250 that you want to go ahead and pick the items. You can pick them yourself. You don't have to go ahead and follow these items, but I suggest you follow them, but you don't have to. And you can always rewind, slow it down, or whatever it takes so that you can go ahead and get this trick to work for you. So I like to click the small, and I like to get four of them. And so I get the four, the same item. I don't like to go ahead and get different items. I think it's just too much work, and it's not necessary. So I want to add this to my bag. Now, I want to click checkout. Now, as you can see here, the items is actually only $198, but with taxes, it's going to put me over that $200 mark, so I'm not concerned about it. So I'm going to click checkout. After you click checkout, you want to check out as a guest. So go ahead and click checkout as a guest. Now, I want you to go ahead and type your information in, that same information that you put into Factor Trust. I want you to put your first and last name here, your address here. I want you to put your phone number and your email address in. And the reason why you want to put that same exact information, that's because when the Factor Trust sent your information over to these credit card companies, the only thing that they gave them was your name, your address, your phone number, and your email address so that they can mail you stuff, they can email you things, then you can get all these different offers, right? So put that same information in here, but I want to type this information in of the client that I have. So remember, you want to make sure that this is that same information. If you do not put the information in correct, then they're not going to go ahead and give you that pop-up that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm just typing in all the information that you will have to put in so that you can get that pop-up. And keep this in mind, too. There's over 60 different credit cards that allow you to get the to get credit cards without them checking your credit score. So go ahead. If you get approved for this one, if you get the pop-up, I want you to get the shopping cart trick guide in the description where you can see those 60 different credit cards. So I have all of the information put in. So I just want to verify that everything is correct so we can get the pop-up. So, so far, everything is correct. I want to click continue to delivery. So after you click continue to delivery, this is the pop-up that you're going to get. It's going to say, congratulations, you're pre-approved for the Victoria's Secret credit card. And this is the pop-up for all of the companies. You should get the same exact pop-up saying that you're pre-approved. Now, they're asking you to pick which credit card you want to get. So I always like to get the pink. If you watch this plenty of times because you're trying to master this trick, then you know I love the pink card. So I'm going to click accept now. And what they're going to ask you for is I want you to put your date of birth here, your last four digits of your social twice, and they want you to go ahead and check this box here and click finish submit for review. So that is what they want you to put, put here. And remember, after you go ahead and put this information in, they're going to let you know, congratulations, you're pre-approved for $500. You're pre-approved for $1,000. Now, I don't suggest that you actually you know, buy the things on this. I don't suggest that you go ahead and get it. What I would do is I would just exit out. So I would click that X right there. And after you go ahead, after they tell you how much you're approved for it, they're going to send you that card in the mail. So you can go ahead and look at my guide down in the description. It's called the shopping cart trick guide. And you'll be able to get those same credit cards that that's on that guide. And remember, they're not going to be checking your credit score and they're not going to be pulling your credit reports, giving you that hard inquiry. But if you have problems with hard inquiries, then go ahead and look down in the description. I have the hard inquiry removal guide also where you can go ahead and remove inquiries from your credit reports. But yes, guys, I taught you guys the trick. So now I want you just to implement it. And remember, you want to opt into Factor Trust. After you opt into Factor Trust, it's going to be so many different offers coming in the mail. And now they're going to tell these different companies that you want to get the credit card, which is going to make it easier for you to be able to get them. So if you have any questions, go ahead and call or text me. My phone number is 833-RAKITA. And remember, I'm always here from, for you. So you can always call or text me. You're my assistance. We definitely here for you. And if you want me to try to see if I can do this trick for you, I also have a section in the description that says, click here if you want me to try to do the trick for you. And usually that trick can be done within 24 hours so I can see if I can get you pre-approved. If you have any questions, like I said, call or text me. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, and leave a comment with your cash app so you can be entered into my monthly drawing.